Hello everybody, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Deepak Sandhul Kumar and today we are going to discuss about Resolve Merge Conflict in IDD. In Informatica MDM, Multi-Domain Edition, version 9.7.1. The agenda for today's discussion would be a quick overview of Resolve Merge Conflict in IDD, using a user exit as workaround to avoid Resolve Merge Conflict in IDD, known issues and the possible workaround for those known issues and a quick demo on what is resolve merge conflict when it appears in IDD and once we use the workaround how IDD behaves. So when does this resolve merge conflict appear? It appears in IDD when there is a parent subject area and a corresponding logical one to one child subject area and a merge occurs. That's when this resolve merge conflict appears. So let's consider a simple use case. Consider there is a person and there is an email address for this person. So let's consider there are two persons, person 1 and person 2 and two corresponding email addresses, email address 1 and email address 2. When these two persons are merged, that is person 1 and person 2 are merged, there is a conflict on which of these two email addresses will survive. That is, is that email address 1 has to survive or email address 2 has to survive when person 1 and person 2 are merged. To overcome this conflict in IDD, there is an option for the data steward to resolve the merged conflict and pick up one of the two child records as the survivor or even specify a new value which may not be the value corresponding to the person 1 or person 2, like the email address 1 or email address 2, possibly a new email address, say email address 3 is what the data steward feels is the correct one, then even that could be changed. So, Resolve Merge Conflict provides an opportunity for data steward to avoid the merge conflicts that occur due to mergers. So, using user exit to prevent the resolve merge conflict. So there is a KB article 346037 on how to stop the resolve merge conflict button from appearing after the merge is performed on a subject area that has a logical one-to-one -one child relationship in MDM. So the logic goes as follows. In the merge on handler, in the before merge method, write a search query to get all the children for the specified foreign key which will be the survivor. Once all the row IDs are retrieved, set the record state that is the consolidation indicator to 2 and merge all of them using the multi-merge API shift call. So in the course of this uh, video we will be seeing this particular implementation and we would also be going over the behavior of IDD once this user exit is implemented. So there are a couple of known issues around this. Whenever we have a sibling reference lookup and then resolve merge conflict is performed, so in the 971 HF1 release until HF3 EBF2 was released, this will, resu this will result in an error in IDD. And that was fixed in 971HF3EBF2. And further, in HF3EBF2, a new issue occurred, which is when we are trying to change the value of the child record in which we are trying to perform the resolve merge conflict, then the value was being shown as access denied. So these two issues are fixed in 971HF3 EBF3 and subsequently 971HF4 and the workaround for these two issues would be to apply the user exit which we discussed in the previous slide which is this slide which is uh, the KB article 346037. So basically we are preventing the resolve merge conflict and avoiding that error. So let's go through a quick demo. 
for this demo i'll be using the mdm sample and the idd application would be similar to the mdm sample with just a small change so what i have done is this email is generally a one to many relationship type in a normal mdm sample idd application i have just changed that to one to one so we are just worried about this person and email address which is the one to one relationship to this person so let me go ahead and uh, launch the idd application so i i'll i'll be creating two new records for us to merge those two records so let me just give the first name as say orange and probably the last name is smith middle name is william and i'll provide the email id which will be orange.smith.1 @test.com uh, and i'll give the electronic address type as email saving the record yeah the record is saved so i'll go ahead and create a copy of this record so i'll just create a copy and i'll save that record as well so once these two okay this record is also saved so once these two records are available what i'm going to do is i'll go to the search query and i'll just search on the key first name so we have these two records which we created now so i'll select both these records right click and compare so this has resulted in the merge preview screen i will merge these two records so once the merge is completed yeah now it's completed I'm going to the data tab and i could see there is this option resolve merge conflicts and if i probably want to see the values available i could see both these email ids are same orange smith 1@test.com and orange smith 1@test.com so probably if the value was different i could select the value i want to survive and can give okay so complete merge so what this does internally is it merges the child records as well so if you can see here in the email you can see that for this one record there are two cross references now so which means this record got merged that the orange smith parent record got merged and once we perform the resolve merge conflict the child records also got merged so i told that there are couple of issues uh, when you are using the sibling uh, reference in the lookup and in some cases the cu cu the customers do not want the data stewards to perform additional operation of performing this uh, resolve merge conflict So in that scenario, we have this user widget available for us, it merge party handler, wherein I am just getting the username, password, and ORS ID, and the uh, the foreign key, which is the survivor uh, BDD objects row ID, and all this is in the before merge. So once I get the row ID, I perform a search query on the email address uh, table. and i'll get all the records so once i get all the records i just prepare a list of all the email addresses that are available and prepare a multi merge request and before performing the actual multi merge i am calling a set record state which sets the consolidation indicator to 2 once that is done i just call this shift client dot process of the multi merge request that was prepared the reason why we have to set the consolidation indicator to 2 is that 
in some scenarios we might have a consolidation indicator as one uh, for the child record and this might mean that the record is already consolidated and when we try to merge we'll get an exception so to prevent that we are setting a consolidation indicator to two, two before we merge so let me go ahead and uh, deploy this uh, user exit and uh, uh, make the changes in the IDD configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this particular line in my BDD configuration under the subject area person. Subject area person, I just added one line to this user exit. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, import error to login again into the config page. I'll go ahead and I'll import the IDD application BDD configuration with the user exit. So once that is imported. I'm going to go ahead and uh, import the user exit as well. So I've already exported this user exit. So I have the jar in my desktop. So user exit implementation dot jar. I'll go ahead and import it. It's done. Uh, I'll just clear cache and do a redeploy. So once this is done, let's perform the same operations which we performed earlier, which was to create a new record and uh, copy that record and perform a merge. So let me go ahead and create person. So let's give a new name, say let's call it as Grape Smith and William. I'm gonna call it as grape dot smith at test dot com and email address will be the type of electronic address type apply. I'm gonna save this record. So once this is saved, I'll go ahead and create a copy of this record. So this is also done. Just for our understanding purpose, I'm going to just modify the email address as grapesmithwilliam and I'll save this record as well. So once this is saved, I am just searching in the search bar by providing as grape so I could see both the records we created just now. Let me compare these two records. And merge them. So now if I go to the data tab, I could see that the record is already merged. Grape Smith William at test.com is the survivor and that resolve merge conflict button is not appearing. So how was that possible? That was possible because we have written a user exit and the user exit takes care of merging those two records. So you could see that these two records got merged and this Grape Smith William at test.com is a survivor. Let me just quickly go ahead and show you the logs as well. So if you could see the log here. You could clearly see that 81923 was the record which we picked and we had this particular uh, two email IDs 20423 and 20424 and we changed the record state that is we set the consolidation indicator to 2 and we have performed the multi-merge. So this way we overcome the uh, need to perform the resolve merge conflict. So just to summarize, uh, we had seen what is a resolve merge conflict when it comes into picture. 
uh, that is whenever we perform a merge on a parent subject area and we have a one to one uh, child relationship and both those records are available in the child then it comes into picture so we saw how we can write a user it to prevent the resolve merge conflict and we had also seen the known issues around uh, resolve merge conflict and uh, the user exit we discussed is a solution to overcome that we would always love to hear from you write to us at support videos at informatica.com tweet us at twitter.com slash info support with this we come to the end of this session thanks for your time have a good day goodbye